Now, Lena, I'm going to get you in a second, but I want to play the clip from Dr. Copen. I asked him, here's what the atheists are saying regarding this whole subject of the killing of the Canaanites. Is it ethnic cleansing? Is it, is it genocide as they claim? Listen closely to what he's got to say. We'll be right back. Well, presumably, a genocide means that there is animosity toward a certain people and a, uh, this, this hatred driving them to wipe out these people. Well, well, what we see here is, one, it's not driven by you know, hatred. One, it is, by, you know, it is by the fact that you know, these people are wicked and that God wants them to be uh, judged or, in a sense, their influence to be limited or disabled. Uh, when it talks about, you know, I, I would say that there's nothing remotely resembling uh, ethnic cleansing or genocide here. In fact, what we see Rahab, a Canaanite, who is able to join the Israelite community, uh, and she is welcomed uh, along with her family in Joshua chapter 8. We also see that, uh, you know, as the Israelites have come into the land, that there's a group called the Shechemites, who are Canaanites, but yet they're participating in the ceremony, the renewal ceremony of the covenant uh, within Israel. And they are part of this. There are these strangers who are part of this ceremony. So there is no hostility toward the, uh, the Canaanites. Uh, they are you know, welcome to join in this, uh, you know, the, you know, the festivities of Israel and so forth, that the alien and the stranger in the land were to be, uh, were to be welcomed. Uh, but on the other hand, God brought judgment on the Canaanites. And again, I would say it's only partial. It's not as though it's a, it, it's a nationwide thing. There's a lot of hyperbole and exaggeration that goes along here. Sometimes you'll see it looks like you know, everybody's been wiped out, but actually their whole, uh, you know, their whole host of Canaanites were still there. Uh, and again, this is just common in the, in the ancient Near East, uh, hyperbole, where you had what looks like a lot of people have been wiped out, but actually, in, in fact, there are lots of survivors, but the language of being annihilated or wiped out is, uh, is used in order to show that there had been a victory, kind of like a basketball team winning a game against their opponents and the players saying, we totally annihilated them. Also keep in mind that it is not simply these other nations that are involved in, God, you know, in God's judging, judgment, but it is Israel itself. God brings judgment on Israel. He says, just as I have brought judgment on them, I will also bring judgment on you as well. So it's not as though this is somehow ethnically motivated, not at all.